Welcome back you chapters to my channel pretty much of SB answers all or pretty much an everyday encounter of an everyday life of an SB. I'm going to jazz it up a bit right now basically and putting this video hopefully subdivided pretty much if you want this under either beauty from ashes or the self-help guide which is pretty much the topic I'm going to talk about today that has reached me for a bit at the moment you know day in day out pretty much about motivation what drives you right there are many definitions of motivation however that has come about there's two that I have researched pretty much and then there's one of my own okay motivation is defined as one providing the with a reason to act in a certain particular way. Well, two pretty much is basically the state or condition of being motivated. For me, however, how I define motivation, it's the driving force of pretty much which allows us to achieve the goals and dreams that we have in our minds, you know, in hearts that we want to achieve in life. But as what I've learned also, when it comes down to this, basically, we shouldn't pretty much have the wrong attitude t about us you know we need to have that positive attitude and thinking to actually achieve those goals anything is possible so to speak pretty much also on one of my quotes though however i'm living why at the moment is never let the fear of sticking out keep you pla out of the game from playing the game this is from obviously the most famous you know player of all times of um basically the american baseballer babe ruth okay also, here on in, I noticed that made a, my, my thoughts here yeah, of motivation. Motivation is the key to everything in our lives. However, be it, you know, if we've got a passion or a dream that we should be able to, have, as again I said, have the right way of thinking, being it positive and whatnot, you know. Because um, obviously, and how we project ourselves positively or negatively, obviously, you know, will end in the results later on in life for based on our everyday choices good or bad I've learned now that in our everyday choices what we come about you know it's up to us if we want to succeed it's up to us if we want to fail it's up to us if we want to just lose out on everything but then at the end of the day pretty much you know if we have a goal or a passion or anything like that who who should to say that we should actually let people tell us or dictate to us what we should do in our lives it's up to us at the end of the day yes they are there for a reason to test us to build us up and all that people in our circle be it if they want to knock us down for six and think that we're not going to be doing anything even though some of these people i've noticed pretty much in our circle can be jealous and insecure and these people in our circles i have come to about now i've learnt that <laughs> I've labelled them as I not I don't like the labelling list, but it's true to a point that it's haters. Haters come to hate, obviously, as Taylor Swift said in her thing, shake it off, you know. Players are gonna play, play, play. Haters gonna hate, 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 shake it off. Well, this is the thing. That's what I'm learning right now, pretty much on her song. Players gonna hate, obviously, and players gonna play. Obviously, to me with that it's meaning obviously just what it says the haters are going to hate us no matter what we do when we come into our circle disrupting them in their everyday lifestyle of whatever they're doing you know be it if they're drinking and we come along trying to think you know what we can do for them in a way to support them but then again i guess i've learned <laughs> i have ruffled a few feathers here and there in my time you know in my past life and many people obviously you know have told me basically how the hell do you get about your life Karen and do this you know but in all fairness you know many people come and go in our lives and you know I've learned now that despite that I've been through a lot you know and I I think to myself even though at my vulnerable time who can I turn to to trust but more uptake on trust and all that later on in my Beauty From Ashes series. Anyway, um, I've also learned that motivation is the key to success in everything in life. Motivation is the driving force, as I said, pretty much, be it if we want to be successful in singing, acting, being rich. Motivation is the key to pretty much anything that and everything based on our everyday positive attitudes, be it, you know... Like I've learned now, I am in control of my own destiny journey, like anyone else. You know, 
sometimes with my journey, it may be a slow one because of certain life lessons that's hitting me in the head, you know, and time and time again about certain circumstances that may have arisen in my lifetime, be it whatever it may be, you know, for example, like past experiences with my relationships, you know, sometimes I'm hitting my head against the wall about it nine times out of ten, you know, but then again, you know, I know that it's there for a reason. But anyway, as I learn, it's our everyday choice, however, to have this motivation to motivate us, be it regardless of what it may be, for example, if we want to lose weight for like 10 kgs or be it if we want to run 10 k's and that, you know, it's up to us how we want to go about it. What do we feel to do right now? We should go out and do it, no matter what it is. Even if people would come in our circle thinking, you know, oh, <laughs> he, he, he's, he's, he's just too fat and ugly. He won't, he won't, you know, lose the puppy fat or he won't win the race, rah, rah, rah. Who cares if you come last in the race, however, you know, when when it comes down to if you had that dream and desire to run in that 10K race, it's better for you, you know, I don't know. I don't mean to mock the people, but this is just an example. 110 pounds, you know, and you're thinking you, know, you at the last 5K when you're like thinking, oh, you know, the pain's getting too much for you and you're climbing out that last steep hill, you know, before that finish line is down below you, you know. Think of something in your mindset, however, that will keep you going as you're going in that last run, so to speak. That's what I've learned, you know, finding something that, you know, will motivate me. You know, we need to aim high, however, whatever it may be. Yes, however, whatever dream and goal or passions that we have placed on our minds and hearts may take a while, but it will be well worth it in the end, pretty much, of the rewards. We reap our rewards pretty much later on when we succeed, so to speak. I've learned that nobody can stop you, however, to achieve these goals and dreams. Be it, you know, if I wanted to be successful and rich, I'm the one that's obviously going to be the one stopping myself. Because, it, as I said before, it's depending on how I feel about myself, how I think about myself and look at myself in the mirror every morning, you know. But, in all fairness, we're the ones that's stopping our own selves. Oh, okay. When there's motivation and success, there will be rewards and blessings upon us. Regardless of what it is that we've been thinking of, you know, I've learned that time and time again that, you know, um, what we reap, we will sow, you know, so to speak. Um, like I've said in that one of, you know, lead by example, so to speak. Um, anywho... We shouldn't have to prove to others based on our dreams and goals, however, that, you know, we can do it or whatever. We should just have it in our little mindset that we can do it for ourselves, prove it to ourselves, however. Don't let others around you dictate you, tell you, however, that you're wasting your time on that dream or goal that you have in your heart, mind and heart. Because obviously, you know, they may be jealous and secure, whatever the case may be. And then at the end of the day, you know, I feel that, you know, they were waiting for us to just trip and stumble and be at their place, you know, give up and up and just not go there, so to speak. Um, also, don't, we shouldn't be losing ourselves within these goals and dreams and visions and stuff. We should just basically make sure we know who we are and what we are in person. Um, how I go about motivating myself, as many of you may be asking, is pretty much as I pretty much have been uh, putting myself on the decrees in the last few months on Facebook. Pretty much I am on all the I statements, you know. I believe that with these strong I statements, you know, it can build ourselves up. Having some quotes or inspirations that we may live by here, by example, like I shared with you, Babe Ruth. There's some other many famous people I live by of these famous quotes. Um, but again, when we claim our victories, however, more it will come to us tenfold. I believe that it will be thing. Failure isn't an option, however, even though many people choose to, you know, think that, okay, I failed this, I can't do this anymore. Also, another one is to be in mind is do not put that word can't in your mindset. Once you put the word can't in your mindset, obviously that will create doubt and confusion. And once these two come into play, the doubts and confusion, Obviously, it'll be a real chaotic mess at the end. I've known that when I was down and out, when I was, you know, first feeling depressed that I thought to myself, you know, I can't do this anymore, you know. And then part of me was tugging along about, as I said to myself, you know, wanting to just give up. But then again, you know, I was trying to figure out what 
motivated me to keep me going. Obviously, it's the love and support from my family and certain people in my circle of friends. Okay, as I said to myself, the mind is a powerful tool, however, pretty much. More on that uptake later about the, you know, power of the mind. Christian perspective of it. Being healthy and positive is the key to being who we want to be in life. But regardless what it may be, you know, like I said, if we want to be rich and famous, be it if we want to just, you know, be an actress or whatever dreams and stuff we have set, that's just up to us again. But anyway, to sum all this up, because I'm running out of time here, if you remember the pursuit of happiness with Will Smith in it, there's a quote that I actually really love hearing all the time. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. You've got a dream protect it, part of me added this part in, and fight for it, people that can't do it themselves as they're lacking in the motivation or self-confidence in themselves, waiting for us, or waiting to see if we will fail, you want something in your life, however, be it wanting to be rich or famous, get it, period, well that ends my channel, thanks for watching, you know the drill guys, like, comment, subscribe, you know, private message me if that you need be basically on any topics you may want me to share basically and thanks for watching and have a great day